All right, well, we got the ladder because I don't want to fall. What we got to do is put some mulch at the laundromat here yet tonight. Don't worry, I'm not gonna take you long for every shovel, shovel, shovel full here. I'm gonna fill this up, move you into position in the front. You see what I'm doing. It's cheaper to get in bulk like this than it is to buy a bunch of bags. You guys said you wanted to see what what it's like every day. Well, this is what it's like. And if I didn't have so many customers in here right now, I could just pull this bad boy up to the front door and do it. But downside to being busy. We can't do that. All right, well that's enough for the moment. We're gonna move you into better positioning. Hey, you guys want to go for a wheelbarrow ride? In that wheelbarrow, I got one load, one load left to dump. I take you for a little ride. You want to go? Okay. I'm gonna, you need to promise me something. You're not going to sue me for wrongful hurt or damages or anything else, are you? Okay. I'm going to hold you to that. Now get in. Let's see what kind of view you get from that, huh? Is this fun? Is this what you wanted? See, that's the kind of guy I am for this channel. I'll even give my viewers wheelbarrow rides at the laundromat. Thank God this is the last load. I'm out of shape. But I hope that was fun. How's it going? People gotta be staring at me now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I see it in the light. Way better. Way better. 
that's what you want it to look like. I want it to look nice when people show up. And guy standing in the road. Can't see him now. Guy standing in the road about ready to run over. That's what you want it to look like. That's better. Hope you like that. Well, you're welcome, okay? It's the kind of guy I am. Now, one thing that you need to understand is your property's commercial. They need to look nice. And a lot of problems you have with strip centers that don't take care of themselves, your customers see that. And I know it may not be your responsibility because you rent from somebody, but if your owner that owns those places can't figure out if it's nice, not only do you get more business, they get more rent and their place is more desirable for people to rent it. It's amazing the number of people that own retail centers that let the parking lots go to heck and don't even realize that they could be saving tax money by the depreciation of stuff they spend on and they could cost it out better. They just, they just don't, I don't know if they don't get it or they don't understand it, but they're losing money. They spend a little, they spend a little on that infrastructure and making it nice little stuff cosmetic stuff the planners paint on the building striping the parking lot i mean just the little stuff picking up the trash once in a while the little stuff will help them generate so much more money and have a nicer place that's worth more in the end I, it just blows my mind i don't have the nicest places but like that i just i added that mulch to keep it nice now kids will pick it up they'll throw it it happens every year but the majority of your customers are going to appreciate that and when they walk by they're going to be like wow that's neat it smells nice it's just like cleaning your laundromats. If they smell nice, they're clean. That's the way they think. So just a little tidbit for you. I don't know why people that own big properties let them go to heck, but you see it all the time. The successful ones don't, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and head home. It's late. Obviously, you can tell. It's probably like 8, 9 o'clock. It's time to go home, rest up, and start over again tomorrow. This is what I did today. Take it easy.